The Maiden Project is our fond term for our dilapidated old pile that we bought in 2011. My husband Richard and I fell in love with this amazing place. Well, it could have been amazing. It was full basically of rubbish and leaves and 60 years worth of sort of stuff blowing through the windows. I was quite diligent on doing all the sort of planning and making decisions about how we were going to build, what systems we were going to install. We looked at solar panels, but as there's only two of us, for heating hot water, it wasn't really relevant for us for the cost of, of installing them. It might be at a later date. Um, air source didn't really feel like the right thing for us. Um, and with the ground source, we've got the land, so it seems sort of churlish not to use it. A ground source heat pump is a brilliant bit of kit that basically pumps heat out of the ground and into a building and it does that through collecting solar energy so the sun heats the ground up, the black plastic pipe draws that energy back into the heat pump and then the heat pump uses a refrigeration cycle and uses that technology to compress the gas generating heat and then that can be used for underfloor heating, radiators or hot water. People may not realise that heat pumps are a well-established and proven technology. They've been widely used in Europe and North America for many years, but because in the UK we've had North Sea oil and gas and plentiful reserves of coal, we've not adopted them as quickly as other countries have. Once we decided on ground source, we spoke to Valen about it. We'd spoken to a number of different companies and they invited us to, I think they call it their centre of excellence up in Belper. They'd got all of the technologies and a very nice gentleman took us around and explained everything about them. It really sort of reassured us that, you know, it works for a building of that scale, so there's no reason why it couldn't work for us here. Ground source heat pumps are a perfect alternative to oil heating for the home. Um, oil is about twice the price running cost-wise compared to a ground source heat pump. This is the perfect location because there's a perfect amount of land around. You're off gas, so the only other alternative is something like LPG or oil. I think the common misconception is with things like heat pumps that it is for people who are incredibly wealthy. Um, we're certainly not. <laughs> the expense is a little bit more because you have got the groundworks that, that needs to be taken into account, but the efficiency coming from the ground source is going to be higher. For each unit of electricity you buy to power the system, you'll get three or four units of heat into the home. So at that point, if you're paying 12p for a unit of electricity, it's costing you 3p for each unit of heat. So there are substantial running cost savings. The quality standard that is currently out at the moment is the Micro Generation Certification Scheme, or, or MCS. It's really the gold standard for heat pump installs, and it allows you to open up various incentives, including from the government, Richard and I have been living on site. We moved in actually a month before the work started. It, it worked out quite well. And living in a caravan, what can I say? It's brilliant. <laughs> it's like a total holiday. We've been very involved with the build. I'm out here sort of annoying the builders and asking questions. But it's kind of like watching a TV programme through your static caravan window. It's been great fun and I don't think we would have changed anything about that because that's going to be part of the reward when we finally move in. Today we are laying the ground loops. This is the heat exchanger that extracts the heat from the ground and provides the energy for the building. A ground source heat pump is a complete system. We start by designing it for the house. What is the heat load of the house? How much heat does the building need? That tells us how big a heat pump we need and then based on the geology and what we've actually got in the ground, that tells us how much pipe we can put in, and that will provide the heat and ensure the system works in balance. No two ground source heat pump installations are the same, which is why you need a specialist contractor and good quality equipment. And the challenges we can face, because we don't know what we're gonna find until we start digging, we can find stones, sharp objects, buried metal, we can have the trenches are caving in, or a worst case scenario, the geology is completely different from we thought it was, and we're actually gonna to have to put more pipe in the ground or redesign the system. The machine's brilliant, isn't it? I'm gonna to have to have a go on it before it goes away. The actual speed of, of putting the loops in, you know, traditionally, 
instead of using a trenching machine, they're actually using diggers. But with this, it's left a tiny, tiny sort of slice out of the ground where the, the loop has gone into and yeah, job done. That's the first part of the ground source installation, the outside stuff. We've got some work in the house to do before Alex and Orange House are coming back to install the heat pump. I'm excited to see how it works in real life. I'm excited to see how much it costs to run. I'm excited to see how much I'm saving. Since we were last here, we've filled the trenches in, so we've now buried the ground loops. And what we're expecting to do today is to take delivery of the heat pump and we've made a start in the utility room where the heat pump and the buffer tank are going to be installed. We're also going to make the connections which will connect the ground loop, the pipe we buried last time, onto the manifold chamber. The fitting we use to connect the ground loop pipe onto the manifold chamber is an electrofusion fitting, so it's a plastic fitting with copper wires in it. We run an electric current through the copper wires that melts the plastic and makes a very strong joint. And this is the joint that's commonly used in the utilities industries with gas and water mains. So it's a very strong joint and it will last as long as the house does. We always like to get out to all of the products that are installed. It's peace of mind for the customer to have Valent come out on site. It's nice to see that we're actually supporting the install and the installer. We've got very good relationships with the installers and we make sure that monitoring equipment is fitted onto the ground source heat pump so we can make sure that everything is working properly. Quality of install is very important and the quality of product is too. The product is the heart of the heating system so you need to make sure that the product is, is going to work and it's going to last for as many years as the house is going to be around. As you can see behind me, we've now made our connections, so the ground loops are connected to the manifold chamber. We've put some insulation around the pipes, because these pipes are very close together and we don't want to lose the heat we've collected from the field. And the other crucial bit is the chamber is raised, so if it does become wet and we get ice around it, we're not going to raise the patio and cause damage later on. Next step will be to connect the manifold chamber to the heat pump in the house, and once that connection's made, we'll then be able to fill the system up with water, flush out any dirt, air and then we'll be able to put the sanitizer in and then ultimately the antifreeze solution. The final step will then be just to put the cap on the chamber and so all that will be visible at the end will be the manhole cover within the patio. There's actually been a lot of progress since we were last here. We've now connected the heat pump to the manifold chamber, we've welded all the pipes up, we've installed the heat pump and since then we've actually now commissioned it, switched the unit on and it's providing heat for the building. The guys had said, you know, it'll be a couple of days probably before we feel the temperature change in the house because of all the underfloor heating and stuff and I think probably within two hours you could sort of walk in to the front door and think, Oh, it feels lovely. So we, yeah, we were absolutely thrilled with it, you know, right from the off, and we've had nothing but, but lovely heat from it since. Even though it's summer and there's not much heat required, she could still feel the heat in the floor and felt the house warming up. But crucially, from our point of view, we were getting really good temperatures coming back out the ground, so we're getting good tr heat transfer and a good energy source, and the heat pump's working very efficiently. We're almost there, it's been a long old process. I think we've been building now for just over a year. It's a little bit longer than we'd hoped, but I think that's always the way. You're always optimistic about how long things are gonna take. But we're moving our stuff in and hopefully going to sleep in here tonight. Which will be the first time because I don't know, for whatever reason, we haven't even camped out in here or anything. So it's quite exciting. I basically like to show people around the house and Richard's always laughing at me because I have to go into the plant room and say this is the best bit of the house. And we were going to box it in but it's too beautiful so we're going to leave it all on show now. People assume that you've got a massive, massive plant room when actual fact it's, it's the size of a, a fridge and a hot water cylinder, that's basically it. 
With the field, I was quite concerned that the machines would chew up the paddock and stuff because obviously that's where the horses are going to go. But the grass has come back really well. When we designed the system, we calculated what the heat load of the house would be, i.e. how much energy we needed to put in. And providing that energy with the heat pump is going to cost around £600 a year, whereas if we'd used oil, it would have been twice that at around £1,200 a year. So already, Richard and Emma are seeing a substantial saving in their annual running costs. I came up with the, um, the idea of it being like an energy fruit machine. So for every one unit of energy you put in, four come out the bottom of it so you basically win every time and also um, with the renewable heat incentives and stuff like that again that the government's trying to push I give them a receipt for the amount of energy that I've produced and they give me I don't know 15 or 20p. The renewable heat incentive is basically an incentive that the government have introduced to encourage people to install renewable heating technologies, whether that be ground source or air source heat pumps or solar thermal or biomass boilers. It will pay for each unit of heat generated from a renewable source. He's just told me the figures for the renewable heat incentive. I was expecting that we hopefully get seven or eight hundred pounds back from the government as our heat incentive. And he's just told me that the, um, the running cost will be about £500, but we're going to get about 2,400 quid back from the government. So that's a really nice surprise. Sort of the cherry on top of the cake, if you like. So yeah, nice little tax-free incentive that, I think. People have been very interested in, in RHI. Um, we've been waiting for it for a few years now. The energy savings will, will pay for themselves, but this is an added incentive and people can really see the benefits within the first seven years because they're getting this payment back as well as those energy savings. For us, this has been a very typical project. We've come at various stages through the build programme and done some works and then come back later and throughout that process we've tried very hard to maintain a good relationship with Emma and Richard and we've enjoyed their company and they're very good clients to have and from our perspective this is just the start we've installed a system but this system has a 20 year plus lifetime and we expect to maintain our relationship with them while we maintain that system so for us this is all a very good starting but very much going forward. From Valence point of view we always like to get involved in projects right from concept through to final installation and commissioning. Um, it's very key to get involved in all of those aspects to make sure that both the customer and the installer are happy with what's going in and that everything goes through smoothly right the way through the project. We've been really pleased with Valent because you just don't know until you put the product in your house, until you've spent your money. You know, that's what we found with the whole build, is that you don't know, you're kind of taken a step off the edge really um, and they've been really good they've been you know easy to deal with answered questions it's been sort of seamless and and we're really chuffed with it it always makes me very happy when I see satisfied happy customers because it's a big investment for them when we when I first met them we were discussing heat pumps and the technology and how it works and what's involved and the finances and then they made the commitment signed on the dotted line committed to us to supply a system and I'm very pleased that at this stage in the project they're still happy smiley and pleased to see us so that's good for us. It's been a massive thing for a year. Sometimes I wake up and think, oh, blimey, got to start building the house. And then I realise that actually we've done it. I definitely wouldn't do it any other way. And I certainly wouldn't go and buy a house now. I'd go and build one. It's pretty overwhelming that, you know, we've achieved something and it's turned out the whole house is better than we hoped it would be.